Have you ever visited a Chinatown section in a major city? It's like a world unto itself. Souvenirs such as these are found everywhere, making Chinatown a must-stop for many tourists, even those that have no prior background with the Chinese culture at all. Take Jim Bartlett and his family. They're from Wichita. And on a visit they're about to make to Chinatown, it'll be very clear that they're not in Kansas anymore. Our family had a 200-acre farm back in Wichita, Kansas. We've been saving up for a vacation to San Francisco for a long time. Oh, Jim, look at these dolls! Oh, we've got plenty of souvenirs, Annie. We can open up a shop of our own, <laughs> couldn't we, Randy? Can we go on the cable cruise again? Later. After we eat, okay, bud? Okay. We'd hit all the top tourist spots. The Golden Gate Bridge, Alcatraz, Fisherman's Wharf. It was our last day, and so we came to the only place we hadn't seen yet. Chinatown. I'm hungry. Don't worry, we're gonna eat. How about this place? Well, the prices are pretty good. And the dock looks pretty good, too. Doesn't it, Randy? Randy? Jim, where did Randy go? I don't know. He was just here. We just looked away for a second. Where could he have gone? There he is. Randy! Uh, how did he get across the street so fast? Randy! Why doesn't he answer me? Randy! You know, I think I better have a little talk with that boy. It was totally unlike Randy to wander off like that. But the mystery was about to grow deeper. We couldn't understand what was happening, but it sounded like Randy was talking Chinese. What do you think you're doing? You don't know how to talk Chinese. Randy, you stop talking like that. This isn't funny. We're leaving right now. Randy, what's wrong? Why are you doing this? Okay, it's time to stop the play acting. We're going back to the hotel. Entry for this moment. Now, what are you talking about? That's our son in there. Right now, your son is Wen Qing, my great grandfather's master. What? This is insane. I want my son back. Tua Queen Lu, Dao Xian Zai, Hai Bao Wu Shu, Jijie Gu Wan. Yes, dear. Jim, what's going on? I don't know. The bow was made 100 years ago by master artist Wen Qing. It was entrusted to my great-grandfather, who was Wen Qing's apprentice. He was to keep it until they met again. And so they have. What are you saying? The spirit of the great artist Wen Qing is in your son. I don't understand. Why Randy? He was chosen to be Wen Qing's vessel. It is a great honor.
going to have lunch. <gasps> oh, Randy. How did I get in here? Why do I have this bowl? We'll explain it to you later, son. Here's your bowl back. Oh, no. This is your son's. Are you sure? Yes. He was chosen. Come on, Jim. Let's go. We decided that the right thing to do was to donate the Mandarin's bowl to the Chinese Cultural Museum in San Francisco. The head of the museum was very grateful. He told us it was a priceless artifact made by a master artisan in the late 1800s. And there were some Chinese words written on the side of the bowl that he translated for us. They said, Embrace this bowl until next we meet. I shall return as a child from the yellow fields of wheat. Wheat was the crop we grew back on the farm in Kansas. Is it possible that a young farm boy from Kansas could be possessed by the soul of a Chinese artisan? If not, how could the boy suddenly speak Chinese? Young Randy never spoke a word of Chinese before or after this incident. Could he have stumbled upon the ability temporarily? There are stories of people who have played an instrument perfectly for just once and once only. Could this be the same phenomenon at work? Is this story of the precious artifact a vessel for the truth? Or are we just trying to bowl you over?